Rustum did not kill us. There is a curse on the enchanted knife. Any person of royal Corandian blood who handles the blade will be stabbed to death. I don't think they're convinced. They think this is just a parlor trick. Isn't there any more convincing proof? Let us view the events in question. It was many years ago. Malcolm and I were alone in the dining room. We had roasted a delicious Corandian pheasant for dinner. I grasped the knife, which had been a present from an anonymous admirer. The rest you can see for yourselves. I think you, Kellogg, have particular need of delivering an apology. Congratulations, Malcolm. Nice to have you back. This whole odyssey has been annoying, but necessary, I suppose. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I owe you an apology. I love this part of my job. You! You make me sick! So, does this mean I'm your uncle? Your mother's half-cousin? Finally, a clean slate. A fresh start. Who could ask for more? Sure, but what are we going to do for fun now? I'm glad that's over. Next on my agenda is a nice long nap in my own bed. What's fun about that? Virtue is triumphant and a job is well done. That's what's fun. Oh yeah? Well, I... I've got an idea. Why don't you both get lost? I'll take charge from here on, thank you. At last. Ugh. Yeah, 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 you did good. And you scored a lot of points, too. Good evening, sir. Don't be alarmed. I've thrown down that dirt to provide a demonstration of the remarkable DQ4000 vacuum and home hygiene system. And I'd like to demonstrate the Malcolm 4000 unwanted salesman removal system. Excuse us, but Brandon here insists on abdication. That means you, Malcolm, are the new king of Corandia. Hmm, well then, as my first official act as king, I order you two to go repair the Colossus on the Isle of Cats and turn yourselves back into mice. Did 
you forget about us? <laughs>